What you're looking at is the work of digital artists Zach Hadel and Michael Cusack. This piece, that's part of their Explore collection, sold for over $20,000. But the art doesn't live as an animation in a gallery. It lives on the blockchain. Pieces like this are part of a growing asset class called NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. A unique token on a blockchain that houses the ownership of whatever is attached to it. If you swapped a Bitcoin for another Bitcoin, both which are fungible tokens, you just have another Bitcoin. But with NFTs, each one is unique in that a specific item is attached to it. Say you traded two NFTs connected to art. You would have two completely different pieces that would be swapped for one another, the values of which could vary differently. The way I like to explain NFTs is that NFTs are just a better type of digital item um, than the digital items that we've seen in the past. A good example of a digital item is a movie that you bought on iTunes. If iTunes decides to delete your account or, or delete the movie, then your movie is gone. So that's how digital items used to work. NFTs are the first sort of digital item that work the way that we expect stuff to work, where if I own an NFT from an artist and that artist decides to quit or stop making work, then I still own that NFT. Um, and I could you know, take that NFT and lock it up in a safe. So an, an NFT is just like a new type of digital item, a, a digital item that we can really own. That's Duncan Cockfoster, co-founder of Nifty Gateway, who along with his brother Griffin have created a platform for artists to create and sell digital art with just an account and a credit card. The company gained enough attention to get bought out by the Winklevoss Twins crypto exchange Gemini in 2019. And it's not just visual artists that are incorporating the technology. The NBA announced its top shot lines of crypto collectibles has generated 230 million in sales so far. Popular rock band Kings of Leon announced their next album will be released as an NFT. And just recently, Grimes sold $6 million worth of her digital art featuring videos set to music. But mixing the world of art and money always leads to caution. For traditional auction houses, forgeries and fakes still fall through the cracks. Duncan thinks trades through NFTs keep authenticity clear. Some people will try and create fake NFTs where maybe they'll take a work of art from, from Nifty Gateway and mint a new NFT using that work of art. But it's actually pretty simple to discover that the NFT did not come from Nifty Gateway and instead is a, is a fake. So while it is a problem, it's, it's much easier to design tools to, uh, to counteract it because NFTs can be instantly and, and perfectly authenticated which just isn't the case for physical art. So why are so many people flocking to NFTs? If it's a digital asset and the picture alone is available to copy and paste wherever you'd like, what's the point in purchasing? Many in the space are purchasing simply to normalize the sale of digital art in hopes that it brings back money to artists. And others do it for the same reason we collect traditional art. The bragging rights to say, I own an authentic piece from an artist and maybe hoping that the piece we bought quadruples in price down the road. We already have a situation in the physical art world where people can create perfect physical reproductions, but they're not actually valuable at all. The only thing that gives art value is the authenticity and the artist basically saying, yes, I certify this work is authentic and I certify that I only made 10 editions and then those editions are what becomes valuable. So it's actually not that different from what already exists in the physical art world. It's just happening for digital art. The method of authentication is a blockchain token that people can own and send across the world instantly. With traditional auction houses revamping for an online world, they've taken notice of the NFT trade as well. Christie's announced its first auction of solely digital artwork from popular artist Beeple. And like anything dealing with the blockchain, the enthusiasm seems to only be going up. Um, I, I honestly think in, in five to 10 years, people will probably spend more on NFTs than they do on, on physical art. Just the same way that Uber, you know, greatly increased the money that people spend on transportation by, by making it more available for them to get places. I think NFTs make art collecting far more accessible and that will actually increase the total size of the art market.